forest die-off is not a new phenomenon. Climate change is responsible for much of the environmental damage in today's world, threatening not only trees and forests, but also wildlife and ecosystems. Along the Atlantic coast, vast areas full of trees are dying, and new ones aren't growing to take their place. These huge, dead forests are called ghost forests. The large die-off on the Atlantic coast is mainly due to rising sea levels that in recent years have increasingly flooded the area. Water isn't the only culprit, however. As sea levels rise and coastal wetlands get wetter, salt from the ocean water seeps into the soils, moves through canals and ditches, and penetrates deep inland, killing trees in its path. The end result? Dead trees with pale trunks and no leaves or branches, or wooden tombstones. In North Carolina, researcher Emily Urey has been studying the effect of rising sea levels and salt in the region's wetlands since 2016. Here, she found that wildlife such as the red cockaded woodpecker and endangered red wolf are being impacted. Using Landsat satellite images, Emily and her team found that in the past 35 years, the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in North Carolina lost more than 10% of forested wetland due to rising sea levels and saltwater intrusion. There are several ways conservationists are looking to tackle this issue. Living shorelines may provide the wetlands a natural buffer from storm surges, and introducing salt-tolerant marsh plants in threatened zones may also help keep these areas alive.